Welcome to By The Numbers, I'm FM Tahiti and hope you're doing well. This is just going to be a quick end of season review, really. So we've blitzed through this season with Belfast Celtic and it's been the best season we've ever had in the Premiership. So we finished fourth, which is a record high, previous record being ninth. Uh, we've got 51 points, which again, record high. I think the previous record before that was 35. Let's have a quick look. So why is all of this? There we go. So yeah, 51, 15 wins. Previously, seven wins and 31. That was a bad season. Um, before that was ninth, nine wins, 35 points. We had a 10th, 35 and nine wins. So yeah, record points, record finish, record number of wins. Uh, goal difference minus 22. Minus 21 the season before that. Minus 36 season before that. And 14. We have had a better goal difference one season. Um, but not that much. But yeah. A reasonable finish there. We've obviously missed out in Europe, but it's kind of a by a point, but 22 goals as well. So you see against 89. So we had the most goals against compared to any team, including relegated teams um which is called the third highest amount of goals as well though. so there's a kind of tale of two teams almost with the front three doing wonders and we had the back however many we had in the back at various points not 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 as good uh, definitely um let's go back to our normal view there so quite a big squad um with some pruning done but it was a good season we started really strong and that kind of strength uh in the start using this four one two three um they call it um which is our diamond not diamond our belfast battery around with the three in front even um was doing reasonally well for us but after the antrim shield final it kind of fell apart rescued it again and then we went off and used this fm stag inspired um formation instead and we've done we've done well with it but there are certain kind of weaknesses throughout the squad so goalkeeper wise we've got mclaughlin who only played if there's an injury and he's terrible i've ronnie mcdonald whose name is hilarious but hasn't really improved like when we look at his um report they reckon he's operating at championship level he's not got much competition he could be a premiership goalkeeper in the future but we kind of need to see if we can improve there um across the fence we have people like strain who looks quite good played sort of reasonably well especially in the last five games um mcveigh as well it looks like he should be good boyce again looks like he should be all right and robinson not kind of competing but a few issues here and there we need to improve that center if we can and if we're going to use these kind of inverted wing backs we need to improve there so gary greg on the right we're happy enough with um the left we've got devlin who we're happy enough with even those attributes don't look fantastic he, he's played quite well like he's taken to it we're lacking a little bit in back because we've got plenty of them but they're not naturals in there so we might need to consider what we're going to do with the likes of edgar Smith and Robinson, um, as well as some horse on the right, and I'll mention that in a, a second as well. In midfield, Finnegan is a youth player, and Glenn McMenamin came in for a few games and actually played pretty well. I'm quite pleased with them, I think they might be a good shout for the future. Um, Downey came back in, redeemed himself, um, and played pretty well in that kind of register position um burn as always is pretty good in that ball winning midfielder position now and then cockcroft is playing deeper than he normally does but in the mazala uh, mazala uh, position so we kind of need some more competition in the center because it's not a lot we've got plenty on the kind of flanks we've got plenty of wingers but we, we're not using wingers anymore so we need to phase them out keep them as backups if we ever want to go back to the um battering ram or the diamond but 
There we go. Alan O'Connor, we've applied to extend his loan for another season, if we can. He was our player of the season, according to the fans. 25 goals in all competitions, 39 appearances, but he's, he's doing all right. He likes it here. McGee, we have extended his loan, apparently. Um, again, only 11 this season, but we moved him around a little bit. Uh, he's quite good. And we've got Greg, obviously, who came back from injury about halfway through or third of the way into the season. He still managed to get 10 goals. Uh, he's doing a job for us. Bingham, promising, we're paying him a lot of money. We shouldn't really be paying him this. Uh, but he managed to get a few goals. Um, just He's not overwhelmingly uh, good, but he is someone with some potential, I think. Um, Again, he's good for the championship. He, he, apparently, he's not going to be much better than that, but we'll see. Brown, um, he did really well. I think he, I really, really like him. He's got a few goals, six goals, 10 in all competitions uh, in this one. Again, he doesn't look amazing compared to, say, McGee or Greg or uh, O'Connor, but he came on as an impact sub or you know a rotation player quite often for O'Connor. And he's done pretty well. So basically, when we look at the kind of squad in general, we want better options here. We want back, good backups here, some depth here. Um, and I'm actually feeling feeling reasonably happy with the strikers, just if we can get a few more. And we have made some moves in the transfer market for that. We've got £4,900 per week to play with. And we're currently committed to about 4.1. Um, so we've got a little bit of wiggle room. Expiries, McLaughlin, Clark, Hill, Gordon McLaughlin. He's been with us a little bit. We'll look at him again in a second. Uh, now Gordon, uh, Thomas Heron, Gavin Little have all been released. They're all going to be going. Um, and then there's no one else to cover for really or Connor hopefully is going to be coming back but these are all players who didn't really get involved this season Clark did play a little bit like got nine appearances in the league as kind of back up on the right uh, Shane Hill got about 11 in the league again it's kind of back up for the defense or defensive midfield um Clocklin got eight and we had him for a while just never really scored the goals he was meant to score. Maybe that's just us not giving a proper chance, but he has played kind of enough games across some of the seasons to score more than two or three goals, but whatever. Now Gordon was one of our youth intake players, so you've had him for seasons and seasons and seasons, and he had a few good, good season, a few good appearances. And he's, he scored one goal in... Um, two overall senior appearances for us this season but he's not up to it especially if we're not playing with wingers he can go well he'll be sad but hopefully he'll find somewhere that he can go to um heron was always a backup with potential to be you know more than that in the future <coughs> but he just never really hit he's a leading player for most northern irish level four sides so non-playable leagues so you can save forty pounds and get rid of him, um, Gavin Little. So we had him. He betrayed us and left, and then we brought him back. Kind of flattered to deceive since he's been back. He's had some good moments, but he's got there are people just ahead of him. That's, that's all it's, it is. People ahead of him. He's not worth eighty five. I can either spend eighty five on someone better, or I can spend less on someone who's got the potential to eventually become better and who's probably is about as good as he is right now so yeah there we go we've got some things to be looking for in the transfer market financially <laughs> i did say we were about 30 grand in a black that's that's changed since we won that money but basically we're in a much better position than we would have been and the projections are always always bad but it's oh, sorry. It's just recording at night. Bored myself. Um, it's looking alright. Club Vision. They're just expecting us next season to stay in the 
division. Um, and when I did the team meeting at the end to tell them what to expect for next season, the, the most optimistic thing I could tell them that I wanted us to do was finish mid-table. I couldn't offer anything better than that, even though we finished better than mid-table, I would say. Um, so I told them, I reckon we could survive, even if it was through the relegation playoff, we'd survive. And that was enough for them all to agree and to be happy with that. Interestingly, the board wanted to develop the best system in the country. Um, and by the end of the season, not after, but after that, so a few seasons' time, they want that to have been done. The reserving judgments. I don't understand what it is I'm expected to do for this because we don't have any money. And just staying in the Premiership isn't going to be enough to get the money to become the best youth system. You've seen how much better Lahn and Linfield are in terms of the finances. So I don't understand what it is they think I can do about that. Stuff might change though, so we see down here with the owner status, there's a rumour that a takeover from a potential investor could be in the offing. This has happened at the end of pretty much every season. We've been in the Premiership, there's been this kind of discussion because I guess for a small team in the top flight would be a cheap acquisition. Um, how much are we worth? So it's worth 186,000. It's a nice, cheap investment. Um, if that happened, then maybe I could see this youth system thing happening. But to be honest, we need a good breakout season to get things going. It's going to be a while until we've got the money. So I think that's something we're not going to meet. But I don't know whether it's going to be our fault if we don't meet it or not. We are making the most set pieces. We are within the wage budget. And we do play a high tempo pressing football. Although, to be honest, we've, we've moved to a slightly lower tempo with the new tactic. But yeah, I'm kind of hopeful for, for next season. We've got one or two players already coming in, coming in, and we'll cover that for the start of um, next season. I'm going to have to do a lot more digging around to see what I can do. And maybe trim a little bit more fat off the, the budget, but it's been good. Obviously, it's typical of the best ever season we have is the first season that we don't record more of it for the twists and turns, but never mind. But yeah, thanks very much for watching, and we'll come back in the next episode for season 10.